The simplest step to take is checking the temperature. If it is below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, that means it is freezing outside, meaning certain precipitation could impact the roads. The first type you might see is snow, which can become more dangerous as more cars drive through it, making it more slick. You want to make sure and keep your speed slow and steady as applying extra gas or stopping at an angle could become dangerous. Next is sleet, which is when snow melts and refreezes as sleet just before hitting the ground. You'll want to give yourself more time if you need to stop or turn. Lastly, black ice. The reason this one's a problem is it's not really black and it doesn't really look like ice. It's practically invisible when it's on the road, which is why most cars don't know about it until they're already on it. Now, black ice tends to form in places without a lot of sunshine in places that aren't driven on that often. If you do find yourself on black ice, first thing to do is remain calm. There's not much you can do or want to do when you're on black ice, especially hitting the brakes. If you do feel the back of your car starting to turn, grab your wheel and turn it in that same direction. Now, in terms of what types of roads you should avoid or be cautious on, that would be elevated roadways, such as ramps or bridges, as these are the first to freeze over during cold weather. And no matter what's on the road or where you are, you should always drive slower and increase your distance from the car in front of you. If you follow these tips, you'll make the roadway a safer place for yourself and others this upcoming week. In Dallas, I'm Jay Wallace.